one of the students that was suspended is Ilhan Omar's daughter. Um, and here she is with a Palestinian um, uh, fellow student and they are Columbia, they work, I guess, Columbia students speaking on MSNBC. Do you feel it's because of the nature of these protests and what they're supporting? Do, you, do other student groups have this kind of target on their back or do you feel that you are being targeted because of the fact that it is in solidarity with Palestinians and against what Israel is doing to Palestinians? Oh, this is 100% targeted. Every single protest that we have, there's a group of counter protesters that bring all of their items, their, their flags and things like that. And they're not seen as having unsanctioned protests or really receive the kind of disciplinary warnings that many of our fellow organizers receive just for being seen at these protests. And so there is definitely some hypocr hypocrisy here, especially you can kind of see it with the students that were um, that were uh, sprayed us with the chemical weapons and the fact that there is no public information as to what happened to them, but rather the university is actively discussing what is happening to the students here and making it a whole public spectacle rather than when we haven't done anything to physically harm students, whereas those that sprayed those chemical weapons physically harmed students. Yeah, I think it's a testament to the Palestinian exception to free speech. Um, I thought I came to Colombia because I thought it was a progressive space for people who care about social justice and human rights. And at every turn, I have been shown that that doesn't apply to Palestinians like myself. You know, my peers, my classmates have friends and family that are still trapped under the rubble in Gaza, and we are me being criminalized on our own campus, quite literally being taken out in, in zip ties because our president um, thought that we were a, a threat. So that was Miriam Alwan, the last voice there. And I just thought that was, you know, the Palestinian uh, exception to free speech is just a perfect way to put it. Um, and they're so inspiring. Um, what's, so what's leadership doing, NATO? What's, uh, what's you know, I think there's, there's no accident here that uh, hundreds of students are arrested at Columbia the same week that their president um, goes in front of Congress and gives, again, the most elitist and back like spineless indefensible display like just like if you were a columbia student or an alum or an administrator this is embarrassing you didn't learn from the princeton president you didn't learn or harvard president like practice a little bit and here here you are uh this is uh uh miss shafiq my question to you, are mobs shouting from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free, or long live the infantata, are those anti-Semitic comments? When I hear those terms, I find them very upsetting. And I have heard- That's a great answer to a question I didn't ask, so let me repeat the question. When mobs or people are shouting from the river to the sea, Palestine must be free, or long live the infantata, are those anti-Semitic statements? Yes or no? It's not how you feel, it's... I hear them as such, some people don't. We have sent so a clear yes? message... So is that yes? We have sent a clear message to our I'm community. I'm not asking about the message. Yeah. Is that fall under definition of anti-Semitic behavior? Yes or no? Why is it so tough? Because it's a... It's a it's a difficult issue because it, it, I realize some it's a difficult it issue. As anti -Semitic, but here's other the problem: do not. is and when people can't answer a simple question and they have a definition, but then they can't. Well, I'm not really sure if that qualifies. So I'm asking a simple question. Maybe I should ask your task force: Does that qualify as anti-Semitic behavior? Those statements? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Do you agree with your task force? Yeah, we, we agree. So, the question uh, is yes. what? So the question. So yes, you it. do agree that those are that is anti-Semitic behavior, and you should be there should be some consequences to that anti-Semitic behavior. We're in agreement. Yes. Yes. Thank you. I yield my time. <laughs> this, like, I, I I could talk forever about this, and I won't. But this is so much more significant than. This is this goes beyond Palestine, but but it is amazing that the issue. This is a Michigan Republican, um, McLean. What is her name? Lisa McLean. And you know this is at a time when you know universities are already on the ropes for being woke, for being expensive, for being elite, for being all the things, 
And then this is their fucking undoing. They can't stand up and say, no, the intifada, not infatada, but also frittatas are not inherently anti-Semitic, is not inherently anti-Semitic. That is not what it means. It doesn't mean death to Jews. End of story. That's And to just before we go on, I'm sorry, to underscore how ill-equipped these elitists are to deal with a clear issue of freedom of speech, here is another representative asking her whether she wants Columbia University to be condemned by God. And she fucking engages this question earnestly. Are you familiar with Genesis 12, 3? Probably not as well as you are, Congressman. <laughs> well, it's pretty clear it was the covenant that God made with Abraham. And uh, that covenant was real clear. Uh, if you bless Israel, I will bless you. If you curse Israel, I will curse you. And then in the New Testament, it was confirmed that all nations would be blessed through you. So you, you do not know about that. I have heard that now that you've explained okay. it. Yes, so I have it, heard that it's before. It's now familiar. Uh, do you consider that a serious issue? I mean, do you want Columbia University to be cursed by God of the Bible? <laughs> Definitely not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I mean, I should say that that congressman was wearing a lot of, he had a lot of bling on, he had a pretty big watch. And I think um, I was offered an opportunity to be a brand ambassador for that watch in my Instagram DMs. So, <laughs> so you will literally, uh, you'll grill who you need to grill. Yeah. Um, you Especially don't want to be cursed by God. That's That was the outreach. It was like, dear yeah. Nato, do you want to be cursed by God? I mean, who's God and what's, what does the cursing consist of? <laughs> I might be into it. So yeah. I feel like that is the <laughs> don't perfect. Don't yuck, don't yuck my yum. <laughs> exactly. That is the perfect example of this, like, libs will never get it and they will never save us. Like, in just one clip. That dude is very serious about God cursing Columbia University because they are, he's a clear Christian Zionist. He doesn't want anything to be, you know, anyone to criticize the state of Israel because all the Jews need to go there before Jesus comes back and kills a third of them or two thirds of them. And she's like entertaining this, of course not, a representative. <laughs> and he's like, good. Like, these are the people who are defending us? I think fucking not. This is so serious to me. It's just terrifying that these people are leading these institutions. Like fucking anyone could have, are you, this is the thing I said last time. Have they not been watching? Do you just like literal ivory tower? Does the ivory tower not get Fox News? Do you not know that the shit's changed out here? They call you a socialist if you, you know, recycle. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers right. are getting called communists for wiping too much, you know? Well, like, and I thought the Ivy Leagues were big on improv classes. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yeah. She's not even like, there's not even like any zip zap zop or <laughs> <laughs> no Pavlovian reaction. Oh boy. What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.